This Friday, a beloved tradition is making a return to our area, the Montgomery Greek Festival. You may have not heard that phrase in a while here. Joining us now in studio is Danny Mitsios with the Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church. Danny, how many years has it been since the Montgomery Greek Festival? To my understanding, it's been seven years since we've done a festival here in Montgomery. And you're making a big comeback, right? We are. We're going to do a two-day festival. Uh, Friday's lunch only, 11 to 3. And then Saturday, 11 to 9 p.m. On Saturday, we're having uh, church tours, Greek dancing. Uh, we have a kid station, and uh, I really tell people to come to the uh, kid station because it's uh, not just an iconography stencil, but it's actually a full presentation on aluminum and, pen and markers. It's beautiful, actually. Uh, we have backgammon set up, coffee uh, station in terms of Greek coffee and frappe. It's going to be the full Greek experience uh, coming back, and uh, we're pretty proud of it. How excited are people in the church and just people in that surrounding community to bring this tradition back? Uh, the church at first was a little skeptical because it's been so long, and now that we are in the motion of it, the excitement is just overwhelming. Uh, we, uh, so many people are volunteering in the church to help out. Um, people from the community have been calling and emailing. Um, our sales are really great online, our pre-sales, more than we even expected. Um, I might have under purchased, so we're afraid food's <laughs> going to sell out before time, but that's a great problem to have, and all we're going to do is take the lessons learned from this one and build on it for next year. Danny, food is a lot of folks' favorite parts of these festivals. What's on the menu for this year? So we wanted to make it really Greek, so we brought we brought back the gyro, which oh, or yes. Americans call gyro. We have a pastizio, which is like a Greek lasagna. Uh, we also have, our, we were asked about our old roast chicken, so we brought that recipe back uh, from seven years ago. And then uh, last but not least, for vegetarians, we have a tiropita dish, which is a cheese pie, or spanikopita dish. So uh, there's something for everyone, um, and it's, uh, we're making it not just a place where you're going to come buy food and, and eat, but a whole experience between the music, dancing, church tours, and the, uh, the crafts. I love the tours, and I love the kids section, because grown-ups can learn from it too, but it's really nice for your kids to experience a different culture, try new foods, maybe see and hear music that they've never heard before. You mentioned those pre-sale tickets. Do people have to buy tickets beforehand? No, no, so first of all, the, the event is free. You're only purchasing food if you want in advance. Uh, some people have purchased food in advance because they're worried it's gonna run out. <laughs> they wanna uh, get the good stuff. They right? wanna get the good stuff. Uh, so, uh, but uh, you're, it's not required by no stretch of the imagination. Uh, but if you are interested, you can just go, uh, go on Montgomery's uh, Annunciation Greek Orthodox Church website. There's a link for uh, the Greek festival and you can purchase to your heart's content. Give us the dates for this year's Greek festival. Uh, this Friday, the uh, June 2nd from uh, 9, or sorry, 11 to 3. And then on a Saturday from 11 to 9 p.m. And in there, if anyone's interested, uh, church service is still happening on Saturday, 6 p.m. with Father Paul. Now, Danny, no pressure. I know people are going to have a good time, so they're going to expecting this again next year. Are y'all are y'all planning ahead we're, for next year already? That, that's, that was the whole point. I was like, if we never start this, we're never going to bring it back. So I made a point that we're going to do this, even if it's small, we're going to do it. And uh, and then you build on it. And you build on it. And I think uh, I think based on everyone's response, it's not if we're going to bring it back next year, it's when. You're going to have to build on it, build on that menu, and bring more food next year. That's right, right. absolutely. <laughs> All right, Danny, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you so much for having us.